Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 multiplayer action. Apologies about the last time I tried to upload this, guys. I, you know, because Windows is the best operating system in the entire world, and don't you dare question otherwise. Apparently, my settings changed, got changed on OBS for no reason, so that's just fantastic. Anyway, uh, this is a battle between myself and Alric Rahl. It was cast on the Aliab Bros uh, channel, organized by Pharaoh O'War, good friend of the channel. Uh, this tournament, the first round was a best of one, so I'm up against Alric Rao, and uh, it was a blind pick, so we had to submit our uh, faction picks to Pharaoh beforehand, and uh, yeah, then they were blind, so we didn't know what our opponent would be choosing. I had a feeling that Alric was going to go for some kind of rush faction, Chaos, uh, Norska, I've seen him play quite a few times before, and just kind of that knowledge, uh, you know, I figured Greenskins could be a good counter rush faction. I've also been playing the Greenskins quite a bit lately, so I'm pretty feeling pretty comfortable with them. I've gone with my uh, double giant build, so if we slow things down here for just a second. We've got three Goblin Wolfrider Archers, two Giants, two Goblins, two Black Orcs, the Eight Peak Loons, Scarsnick leading the way, Night Goblin Shaman, and the Ragnarok Queen. Alric Rall coming in with a bunch of Marauder Horsemen here, three of them, three Skin Wolves. We've also got some Marauders. A uh, Feral Mammoth, Wolfric also on a Mammoth, and a Famir Balefiend, Lore of Shadows. As well as a couple of Marauder Spearmen. But you can see we're going to do an, a little bit of skirmishing here. Primarily, my Goblin Wolf Rider Archers are here to counter Marauder Horsemen, but of course this Feral Mammoth, with its only 30 armor, will be a great target to shoot at as well. Very, very cost-effective for that 350-point infantry unit. We're going to pop a Wah here all across the board as the Giant and the... Queen here rush in to try to take on some skin wolves, start messing up these marauders. And of course the goblins as well, saturating in here, are going to get a pretty good engagement with that attack buff. Uh, boat comes through, doesn't do a whole lot of damage, mostly a swing and a miss there. And uh, yeah, Skarsnik gets the Hunter of Champions. We're going to see a beautiful Fanatics cast also come this sideways through this formation here. Does a ton of damage to the marauder infantry and also catches a few of those marauder horsemen as well. Who are pushing into this back line going at after my uh wolf rider archers we're gonna just keep them pulled back keep them in the back line here scar snakes in a little bit of trouble though definitely getting pounded pretty hard here so we're gonna come in with the giant with uh, both giants actually and the iraq rock queen and start to absolutely just wreck wolf wreck you can see he disengages from there unsurprisingly and the wolf rider archers the giant and scar snake gonna come in and just wall up this barrel mammoth here you can see spiderlings also coming in on the side have the Wolf Riders get up and around and throw a rear charge onto this pocket of infantry, but Alric Rall responds very well with the Skin Wolves. Balefiend Lord of Shadows tossing uh, Mill Cost Mystifying the Asthma to get rid of those Moon Howlers. They're definitely done for, but we've broken through this flank here. Uh, I guess in the center, the Marauders uh, routing away. Black Orcs going to come engage this unit of Marauders here. I had one Goblin that had traded pretty cost effectively over on this side, but ended up getting routed away. Not too much of a surprise there, but uh, the Feral Mammoth being gone is fantastic for me. And use these spiderlings to potentially chase it off here and uh yeah that then is one big monster down likewise wolfric doesn't really have a safe place to go in this matchup like yeah he could maybe try and wreck on my black orcs but because i have essentially four monsters i mean skarsnik as i mentioned before has basically similar offensive stats as a spider right if we take a look 48 attack is a bit lower but 390 weapon strength is basically the same as an arachnorok spider so he can definitely punch pretty hard and, of course, the two Giants over 600 weapon strength, or 600 weapon strength, exactly, I guess. Also punch very hard, so there's just not really a great place for Wolfric to land. But uh, these Wolf Rider Archers just keeping a presence over here, disrupting troops and providing some nice range fire as well. Uh, the Giant was caught in a little bit of a weird situation here, a little bit surrounded by Skin Wolves. The Skin Wolves are a danger to the Giant, of course. They do good uh, non-armor-piercing -arm anti-large damage, and the Giant's lack of armor and low melee defense means they're somewhat vulnerable. However, on the flip side, oh man, you can see that Skin Wolf model go down. Not quite enough weapon strength to one-shot the unit models from the Giant, but pretty close. And another cast of Fanatics being thrown sideways through the Marauder Infantry, trying to help support the Giant, and man, absolutely beautiful. Actually routes off the Marauders and the Spearmen, or at least contributes to a terror route. And uh, yeah, suddenly that Giant, uh, who was getting absolutely javelin to death and torn up by Skin Wolves, is a lot safer. Another wah being popped map wide as Skarsnik has been able to stay in combat this entire time. And uh, yeah, more Spiderling summons also going to be called up. 
Skarsnik has the Bale Fiend somewhat singled out here, although some Skin Wolves do come in to try and support. You can see the Giant charging in. The uh, Feral Mammoth I was chasing off with the Spiderlings, but they unfortunately degenerated right at the edge of the map before that Feral Mammoth was gone, so it can come back from route. But if you take kind of an overarching look at the battlefield, you can see I'm in a pretty commanding position, reflecting that in the balance of power as well, keeping that keeping up that consistent uh, pressure from the Vindictive Glare on Wolfric, as well as casting constant Itchy Nuisance to debuff their melee attack as well. All these Marauder Spearmen and the Bale Fiend and everyone just having a rough time of it. And the uh, Goblin Wolf Rider Archer is able to stay online, provide that good volume of fire against those Marauder Horsemen. So looking pretty good in the late game here. Another boat comes through. And, uh, yeah, I believe it actually ran over the Bale Fiend as he was getting killed. I actually highlighted this in the last cast I did, but unfortunately that cast's audio was completely borked, so apologies about that. Uh, anyway, but, uh, yeah, the Bale Fiend gets taken down by Scarsnake. That puts a pretty significant dent in the balance of power. Really, it's just these Skin Wolves holding up uh, this at this point. We're going to go Sneaky Stabbing for some extra attack on the Queen, up to 90 attack, plus the bonus versus large, basically guaranteed... Uh, chance to hit versus large targets and uh, yeah Wolfric's mammoth running from the spider getting poisoned by the archers on the back and taking a hit there only is going to take a couple of hits from the spider chewing on the uh, mammoth's ankles there to finish him off and with the skin wolves also getting absolutely pounded here the feral mammoth goes down to the giant swinging breaking the ankles and it goes down Marauder Horseman probably going to get terrified away very quickly here. We've got one more Spiderling Summon as well, which comes in to kind of provide a rear charge penalty against those Skin Wolves. Hopefully terror route them away very quickly. Once these guys shatter, these Skin Wolves shatter, it should be critical army losses. Uh, for me, the uh, Night Gobbo Shaman, who did quite a bit of work, honestly, also shatters here. But hey, that's just fine. He earned his keep at the end of the day. Nice mushrooms for him, and that'll be game. So, very well played to Alric Rawl. It was a nice close battle, and it's an interesting one. You know, Norska versus Greenskins is one that a lot of people have perceived to be in Norska's favor purely due to Mammoths. However, I disagree. I think it's actually in the Greenskins' favor. Um, in my mind, the Greenskins are the strongest rush faction in the game, and they're very strong at counter-rushing factions like Chaos, Norska, and Beastmen why I kind of picked them in this situation and of course as I mentioned I've just been playing green skins a lot lately feel very comfortable with them at the moment in a lot of matchups and uh, yeah it ended up working out okay for me here my concern going into this match was if Alric brought a build with a lot of javelins that was going to be a big big problem for me I didn't have enough uh, width and mobility to really occupy javelins they could have come in and just absolutely shredded these two giants for very very good value um, but that being said, Alric decided to go for more of a rush-oriented build, which my build was sort of designed to counter. And, uh, yeah, I love Goblin Wolf Rider Archers here. I just love them in general. Um, I haven't used them in quite a while, and I've started using them quite a bit lately. And, I mean, for 350 points, you really can't go wrong with a great utility Skirmish Cav unit. Um, in this game, even though they didn't get, like, chevrons or a lot of kills or anything, just providing a counter these Marauder Horsemen, who are each 150 points more expensive than them. They also did a ton of damage to the Feral Mammoth as well, which is, I mean, considering how expensive this guy is, it would take, like, what, like, six Goblin Wolf Rider Archer units just about to equal equal that Mammoth's cost? Maybe be, like, five or so? Yeah, yeah, six. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I can do math. Anyway, <laughs> um... On the Norskin side, yeah, I definitely think Skin Wolves are a great pick in this matchup. Uh, because of the Greenskins' lack of fire damage, you can get a lot of work done with them. Likewise, Greenskins don't have a ton of heavily armored units, so the anti-large, uh, non-armor piercing damage of the Skin Wolves is quite good in that matchup. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan at all of Marauder Spearmen, though. I would have probably cut them out, tried to find the extra points to grab a couple of Javelin Hunters to act as anti-large. Javelin Hunters can fight okay in melee as well. I mean, 26 and 22 for a unit of this price range is not great, but it is a lot better than a lot of other skirmish units, certainly. So there's uh, something to be said there. And, uh, yeah, the Double Mammoth thing, definitely pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of the Feral just because of the lack of armor. I actually think if you're going to be taking a monster in this price range, you might as well take the Giant. It is uh, it is slower, considerably slower, but it's got more weapon strength. It's got more melee attack, way more leadership as well, like way, way more leadership. And beyond that, it also um, does not enrage, right? The Feral Mammoth does have the Rampage trait, whereas the Norskin Giant 
does not. So just something to consider there. That's one of the reasons why I prefer uh, giants over feral mammoths specifically. Although regular mammoths, I think, are probably a better option than both. Hard to say. That's enough for today, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.